Puck. Kind of a throwback lane, and it's Q who's on the run. Suddenly, Garner with the stun trying to slow this one down, but Nux moves forward. He has the one point in Stormhammer. He gets two with it. There's the heal. Garner still retreating. KP one swipe. He'll get it. Two to nothing. The score. MVP again. But he nearly kills. Meanwhile, in the top lane, a dive onto the clockwork. Run down by the Rocket Barrage. Beautiful pick there by Aggressive. And kind of what you expect out of this lane. More often than not, you get the face boots on Gyro, and Clock is just going to get caught out of position. So. And yet, brings the game back towards Steven, but now he may die. He sticks up. He's going on. QO uses Blink offensively, underestimating that Rocket Barrage. One more auto take with the phase boots. Can he get him? He will. Aggressive finding two kills. Historically, for me, he's been the playmaker on this team, Gods, and he's doing it here. The team might be struggling elsewhere, but he Radiance makes something big happen on the top side of the map. Attack. We'll talk about it in a second. Nuts taking a lot of damage here. Won't quite die to the spawn spider lanes. I think it might only be level two. Didn't really do a whole heck of a lot there. Yeah, he still hasn't hit level five because he is in this dual lane. But despite the investment in QO, giving up a kill, it really hurts when you're when you're committing the whisk to it. Now there are some stacks to maybe Dyer's catch up with, but guess who's already hit level six and is rushing into the MVP jungle? Well, it's aggressive, finds his third kill of the game. Your roaming gyrocopter he's, rotates from a safe yeah. lane. He's just been a one-man wrecking crew wherever he goes, and he might even find the stacks now, gods. Yeah. Uh, if not two kills mid, let's see. What's the play gonna be here for aggressive and Garter? They're yeah. waiting. I feel like you know there's stacks there because you're reversing a Wisp and like he spends a lot of time in the jungle stack and the question is do you want to risk going for them? You put yourself in such a bold position. They're going to go for kill and send Q on the Kill mid, number like. three. QO. He can't even blink. Aggressive again. Four kills for your safe laner out of control and really yeah. pulling the team back into this game. Uh, deal with Radiant's wherever C-Deck move around the map and C-Deck on the move again. It's aggressive, smoked up with the line. Dyer's These two just going attack. everywhere. Sven's found a double damage in the Spiderlings were trying to drive nuts back and they are gonna have the high ground advantage. The call up there, connects on two, the follow-up stun, two more kills. Aggressive on a mega kill streak. This game started 2-0, but you wouldn't know it from the current scoreboard. I. Beyond Radiant's that, I think you just have to avoid the four-man push, give up your towers, and you're going to fall further behind for now, but you're just going to make sure you get as much They're not going to let them push up in, though. There's the coil. Almost kills off 2 KP. Able to arm with toggle, but you can't arm with toggle the rocket barrage. They lose the IO duo while still pressuring the top lane. C-Deck just countering every play that MVP tried to make. You try to dodge fights, we won't let you do that. You try to come to fights, we'll wreck you there. C-Deck just seemed to know every move MVP wants to make. Yeah. Always chilling in the trees, waiting for the easy opening. But now here comes the real push, and this one with full strength. C-Deck, the entire gang in position, moving forward. They've got vision towards the south from the ward. They've got vision towards the north from aggressive. Very tough for MVP to get the jump, and they're all out of smokes, I believe, at this point. And even if they had one, you still expect them to go. And now they move on mid. They've already got one melee rex. They're looking for more. The split push is going slowly for MVP, and they're going to need to back. Come defend the base. Can they find an opening of any kind? A storm hammer could be BKB dodged here, and still the Dazzle Weave goes. Hook, not even thrown out yet. You have to worry about a solitary spider blocking this one in the web. But continue to clean them up. Still aggressive in front, and still not even being tickled. He's muscled down yet another tower. MVP, it's now or never. You can't give up two racks for nothing, but still they wait. Trying to find that opening, now they make the move. It's on to Garner. QO goes, isolates the line, and quickly goes to the Hope to follow up, and they work on aggressive. Beautiful chains to come up, and not enough, and now the call down. Hook, hook, completely annihilated. Late nuts. Q next. He went in deep, and he'll pay for it with his life. Nemi relocates up, but he didn't bring KP. KP will fall as well. They block three already. Double buyback, make it four. The clock worked out. Q with the die back down for 90, and it looks like Z Hex may well be headed to the main event. Gods. They were the slight favorites coming in, and they're looking rather dominant here. Two lanes of racks about to come for them. If not Megas, if not straight up GG, they rotate onto bottom. The gyrocopter gonna meet. Heal up. He's actually had a, a full heal from this regen rune, and now we'll move on to the bottom lane. C deck just crushing through MVP. Yep. They're headed to the lower bracket. Okay, this this like game it. all but over. The base is crumbling, and MVP Phoenix are not out of the woods just yet, although they look good in their first match.
They're not even guaranteed in the main event, and they've got a tough and very hungry opponent waiting for them in the lower bracket. That's Megas. And with that, only a matter of time here before MVP call it. They'll now go back on. There's actually still Ray Drex there, but Aggressive uh, is going to take care of that as KP gets caught out. Hex instantly. Where's the support from Femi? He doesn't have a relocate. Not much he can do. Just overcharge and hang on. Not good enough. He'll go down to die back on the Sven. March to fall as well. And Febby on the run. LB next. He changes out quickly, but he won't get out of the game before us. Yet another kill. 24 to 8. C deck just looking solid in this game number two. They will be in the main event. Just watching how they play and how, like, how they win these games, they are so polished. Their decision making in the mid to late game is well above any of these other teams. The fact that they can, they consistently recover from poor early game starts. I, I don't think either of these games against MVP they were ever.